Good morning everyone. In today's video I will continue from the previous step that uh, we created a polar array or circular array as if you can remember you know the previous video that I posted I will try to drop a link here uh, if you missed in case if you missed the video. Anyway so what we've done is uh, let's just basic uh, polar array or circular array that um, depend on a Cartesian system, a coordinate system here or a point here uh, in the center and you can say how many uh, uh, you know how many uh, degree you have from the start to the end from 0 to 360 and a 5 uh, degree I think an in increment which is the you know the degree between each point that you get a place here in, uh, in Dynamo so I'll depend on this into uh, creating something practical that we can get benefit of it and in this case for today I will create a waved shape roof with a circular plan and have a hollow circle inside so let's uh, let's have a look and we see how we can do that so I'm gonna depend for from or actually I'm gonna depend on the uh, circle that I have or the array of points that I have in here and I am thinking of you know dividing this group into an odd and even and making each you know one point here up and then this one stays in its location and then the second point up and so on so in order to pick only one point and then leaving the other and so on we need to use some uh, node here it's called odd and even so just write a node here and you're gonna find this one here it's a uh, get even uh, an odd and uh, this is uh, let me see it's from spring the, um, you know the uh, this note so you can go ahead and packages and look for it if you don't have it and what it's simply as you can see is just connect this point to it and it will be automatically you know uh, divide the overall thing here into two groups the first group is the, uh, the one that were actually located as an uh, even uh, numbering. So let me open this one first. So uh, any number who have 0, 2, 4, you know, those uh, the even will be put in the first list categorized as even. So this is 5.1 and then 5.023 and so on while all the odds which is 135 will goes into the list goes down so if you close this one you're going to find the odd are actually put in here anyway it will be a bit annoying you know if you have a long list to keep scrolling down so probably it's the time to use watch node if you put the watch node here and connect this only the even you're gonna you know, have the list only for even which is a bit easier sometimes to have a look at you know and navigate anyway so let's have a look now hide this one so after we add this odd and even now we have two sub list uh, for each one of those so let's get uh, a translate point and i'm going to use the xyz and I will push any one of those. So let's say maybe let let me maybe push the even one up. And I will need a slider. Let's say I'll push it one meter. I'll just add uh, even point height. And I'm going to connect that to the Z. You can see that uh, a copy of all uh, you know the even node has been created so probably we need uh if i turn off this maybe it will be a good idea or no let me see oh no no don't think so i'm gonna lose both so i'm gonna keep it for now so now what we really need we need to create a nerve line or nerve curve that run from the high point or the even point and then back to the odd point and then the height and then the odd and so on this will create a wave shape you know rim or edge for that circular plan roof which is this is the wave or the sine wave that we have in here so how we're going to do that is very easy we need to create a list so i'm going to go list and if you don't know what this will do it's simply can or allow you to create something depend on you know this list which is all the point i raised up connected here this when you cross press the cross will add more item or allow you to join more item and i will you know add the 
old one, which is this one, you know, the one on the ground, still on the ground. Now, if I click on that, notice that I'll get the even high one and the low uh, odd one and, and so on. I'll just turn off now this one. I think it's safe now to get rid of that. Now that's much better. If I click on this, you can see now I have this, you know, uh, shape or the point that I need to get, you know, uh, the nerve curve run through them. Probably uh, this uh, is not needed anymore. So try to get off or turn it off. So you have only this one here, as you can see. Now, before we add the nerve curve, if I open this guy, have a look at it. Now, notice that if I click this one, it will still have the sub inside sub listing. That's the first list here, list zero, is all the even one that I raised up. And if I close this dude here, I will get the one here, number one. You can see that's all the even one or the even points still sitting on the ground with their numbering. So it, if I generated, uh, if I added now a nerve, it will create a line goes up and another line goes down. And that's really not what I need. What I need is, you know, to shuffle those points and to put exactly, and it's like an organized shuffle to put this point specifically, which I don't know where it is here and put after it the first point that I got in the second list here, this one. So you see this one and this one, you see? And then this one and then this one. So, you know, Dynamo will like wave, you know, those points into uh, within, uh, sorry, with a nerve curve. So how we do that is very easy. We need to add something called list transpose. So just write transpose. And uh, this one here, it's simply gonna take, or gonna do that task for me. Let's see what we have. See, sub listing is changed. So if I select this one, I will get those two. If I select this one, it will be this one and this one. And in order to get rid of, you know, because we need them to be a continuous uh, points, actually, I need to turn off this, click on it to turn it off and then close the pin. So I need those points to, you know, be reorganized as a normal one list. I need to get rid of the sub list. So probably it will be a good time to add a flatten. Just add this guy. Let's see what it will do. Is we don't need to create a NURB uh, curve for only those two and then another one for only those two. We need a continuous one. So we need to restructure and get rid of the sub listing. Let's see what we, this guy would actually did. Perfect, it's just get rid of all those sub lists and just count them. See this 5.1, 5.08, and then 5.02, make them as one list. So we see even the hierarchy change. And instead of a three level, we you know kind of exploded those one, you know, this list and merged them together to get two levels. Beautiful. Now close this. You know, and uh, remember the thing we've done that this dude here is not required anymore, so turn it off. This guy here also turn it off. Now this one. You see, it's uh, really nice and organized. All what we really need now is to generate our NURBS. So let's go NURBS and let's see what type of a little, little bit of annoying because we have too much uh, uh, possibilities. Uh, I think we need someone to run through the point and also allow us to create a closed curve, which is, I think I just missed it, this one. So it's by points running exactly through the points and also allow us to close the curve. So this is one of our guy, I think, yeah, this one, have connecting the points and let's see what type of uh, error we got. Lots of, you know, uh, no, 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 I don't know why. Even the points are placed properly. Okay, uh, let me add Boolean for it. So I decide uh, if the curve is closed, so let me make it true, we connect, nothing happened, and that's due to an error, let me try to figure that out,
Let me try adding here. Let's do a drop item. I think there is a point. Uh, the first point is and the last point are the same. So it's creating an object overlapping with itself. Let me just double check the theory that if I start with 5.1, I will end with 5.1. Yeah, that's the reason. Yep, sometimes, sometimes Dynamo can be annoying. Don't worry. Uh, maybe we don't need this one anymore. So now I need uh, to drop the item here. Points we have. Yeah, there is someone here lost. It's okay. I think it will work. Let me check now. Yep, as you can see, uh, it's working now. So it wasn't because, you know, the first point and the last point was actually uh, the same point and located on the same place, making a shape try to, it's actually an overlapping the shape with itself, and that is not acceptable. It's causing this type of error. Anyway, so we have this uh, outer rim or outer edge, this, you know, curvy thing. Now you can go and flex it if you want. So you can just change, you know, the five uh, into 10 degrees which make them less and it's work as nice as you can see now let's create the inner circle uh, you can also control the circle location so I'll um, and height so I'll just copy this one yeah I'll just uh, preview it and uh, what do we need in here we need a radius of course and the angles uh, I'll keep them here the same coordinate system I'll keep that the same because it also follow the center point and also will move if you move the overall thing. Uh, turn this list off. Uh, the one thing I want it to be different is probably we have to call that in our circle radius. Let's make it one meter. So those the points are here on the ground. Probably we need an elevation controller. So inner circle elevation I'll keep it as one just to distinguish it from you know the ground so it will be higher I know that the numbers doesn't make any sense because one meter is not enough for a roof I'll leave that the architectural part for you to get the exact heights you need and the angle and the coordinate system should be the same so now I'll simply uh, have those points and I'll get this guy together. The nerd thing, push that up with a copy. Take the points here. And now we have two nerd curves, one for the inner circle and one for the outer wavy thing. And now we need to create a list. So I'm gonna steal this one, okay and i'm gonna make this one as the first one uh let me make this one as the first one you know the big one and somehow we need now uh we need to loft them right so i'll go surface dot uh, loft or by loft actually yep this one and let's connect and save. Perfect. So that's what we want. Exactly, as you can see. Now, uh, you can go ahead and, you know, flex this thing. So what we're going to do, I'm going to see if I can change the inner circle and make it two instead of one. Beautiful. So three maybe. I'll keep it two. I'll change the height into three. You can see now we have uh, lots of uh, possibilities. And now, uh, for some reason, I started up to think of uh, you know a table lamp, you know, an interior furniture instead of architectural component. Anyhow, uh, let's make it two. Get away from the interior thing. And also, we can control. Let me clean this mess. We can control. Uh, even point height let's make this two and you can see that you have lots of possibilities uh, go ahead and uh, you know change the points 
maybe instead of a 10 maybe we make 30 you can see now we have lots of uh, you know uh, possibilities to look at and I'll leave that for you guys to explore the possibility of generating different uh, you know forms out of this uh, code anyway so I'll tried um, uh, I tried for, you know to use the uh, circular array or polar array that we studied last time and creating something useful and I thought that making this type of roof might be useful for you uh, to get a good exercise if you find some difficulties to understand you know some of the you know commands that we have like for example the surface is just you know I'm gonna explain that in step-by-step -step process when we get into making 2d shapes and 3d shapes and as you see the surface uh, surface by love just gener just take any type of 2d lines and try to create surface between them and the nerves as you can see took points and connect lines between them and i'll try to explain as i said in when i reach to the level of uh, you know curves uh, what type of curves we have and what type of surfaces we have and how can we deal with them and for now i know if you freaked out from you know uh, having different uh, commands it's just just do as i did and don't worry about the you know the terminology and what they mean as I will do my best to explain that when we reach them. Thank you very much for watching me and have a good day.